Hey, welcome ladies and gents. Uh, we're getting an Escape from New York movie. Maybe a sequel, maybe a reboot. Uh, it's kind of up in the air at the moment. Not 100% clear cut. Some reports are saying it's going to be like a remake. Some are saying it's a sequel. So genuinely no idea. Um, the best source I could come up with was Deadline. We had some from Bloody Disgusting, but Bloody Disgusting referenced Giant Freaking Robot. And although they broke the news, Giant Freak and Robot have a terrible track record. They're almost as respected as, you know, we got this covered, right? We, garbage tier. Maybe they got better sources. I don't know. What do you want me to say? So, <laughs> Deadline. Let's take a look at this, ladies and gents. Uh, Deadline is saying that we've got a new group of individuals to actually direct it. Now, the individuals directing it are the same people that were behind the Scream not reboot, but sequel, I guess. It's just, it's a bit of a cluster. I, I don't think they're, I don't think they're going to be good, by the way, either. I think that's a bad pick, but whatever. Uh, before we dive into this, second channel, linked in the description box. It is for live stream clips and highlights. I live stream twice a week now. Uh, we'll cover similar stuff to this. In fact, we were going to cover this last night, just didn't have time. But check it out, there's like loads of clips and it's funny and it's a good time and you'll love it. But let's take a look at this now. So, again, they're saying that this is their exclusive. But again, this was actually broken by someone else. So, who knows? I guess their exclusive is who's going to direct it, right? So, hot directing team, Radio Silence, Will Next Helm, the re so they're saying a reboot of Escape from New York for 20th Century Studios. Again, important to note that some people are saying that it's not a reboot. Some people are saying it's a sequel. So, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a reboot either, by the way. I don't think a reboot's the way forward. I think do a sequel. You know? If you're going to do it, you're going to revisit this property. Do a sequel, not a reboot. But okay. So, the picture company partners Andrew Rona. And Alex Heinemann uh, will produce the film along with Radio Silence. John Carpenter will serve as executive producer of the film, which is a Studio Canal Library title, which is a French company, uh, and they're still going to hold distribution rights in several territories. The picture company has an overall deal with Studio Canal. Uh, so John Carpenter being on board, executive producer, that is genuinely just going to be in name only. Uh, it's because he created it and they get a kickback so i can't imagine it's going to be anything creative similar i guess to how he was for the halloween films so word is quiet on the approach for the film but sources say a writer search is underway so they don't even have a writer but they're also saying it's a reboot and the thing is that's important to know reboot's a hot word right now good for like search engine optimization but if they don't even have a writer we don't know if it's a reboot and mainstream media likes to throw around these titles for that reason. Because it's like, ah, oh, people, ah, oh, cool, like it gets clicks. So we don't know if it's a reboot. We've heard that it is also a sequel. But who knows. Um, but yeah, so Radio Silence is made of a filmmaker's Matt Bettelini, uh, Bettinelli, sorry, Olpin, uh, Tyler Gillette and Chad Villella. Uh, it's the last film, which is a relaunch of the Scream franchise. It was a hit for Paramount, which went on to grow as 140 million at the worldwide box office. It doesn't sound like a lot, does it? That's a hit. Well, I guess they make them for absolute peanuts. Uh, it was also critically acclaimed. I, I gotta say, I didn't really care for that film that much. Uh, the team just wrapped the next chapter in the Scream series, which will hit theaters next year. And they also made the critical hit Ready or Not, which I've gotta say, I love Ready or Not. I think Ready or Not is what they should have. Uh, you know, led with as a mainstream a mainstream media is just looking at what was their recent thing that'll get some clicks rather than what's a good example of their work. Ready or not, with Samara Weaving, so good, excellent film, absolutely excellent film. One, if you haven't watched it, you should. But it's also a fine example, probably one of the better ones that we've had of late. You know, in the last. I don't know, six years or whatever, I don't know how old it is, but let's just say six years for argument's sake, of how exactly 
to do a strong female lead. Because Samara Weaving is a badass in that film. But she earns it. She has to go through stuff, just like any bloke would in their films, right? So I like, you know, I, I that's the best example. And that's what makes me excited for this. Because there's some good action in that film as well. I don't think Scream's a good example of their, like, their action capabilities. You know, Ready or Not has some decent action, but also uh, it's funny. It's grotesque. It has everything from a writer perspective. It has pretty much most things in it. It's a very good film. Put that on your uh, weekend watch list. So, yeah. Um, Steve Asbell and J.R. Young are overseeing uh, Escape from New York. For the studio, Radio Silence is represented by UTA and Brill Stein Entertainment Partners. Under Asbell's direction, a 20th you know, century, uh, is focused on high-level IP and recently had success with the relaunch of the Predator franchise with Prey and has another chapter in the Alien franchise upcoming. So it is interesting. It is looking like they are trying to mine old properties. Now, it's interesting that they note Prey because that was just a Hulu film. You know, it was released on Hulu. Um, and Alien, again, that's going to Hulu as well. So it's, it's unusual that they're saying these things. So using that logic, just as an FYI, using that logic, we don't even know if this is going to be a Hulu film or not yet. We don't know. I mean, they're referencing those other films. This could just end up being on Hulu. So, I mean, there you have it. We don't have a story. They're claiming it to be a reboot. We've heard rumours it's a sequel. Literally, who knows at this point in time. But in concept form, I like the prospect of a sequel more than I do a reboot. Fuck a reboot. I'm not interested in a reboot. I'm, I'm not interested, you know? You could do a soft reboot, for argument's sake. You could do something which... You know, has characters or, or is in the same universe, timeline, canon, whatever, and then just progresses the story with a different lead. Whatever, do that. But don't just do a straight reboot. Forget everything. Essentially a remake, isn't it, at that point? No, I don't, I'm not interested in that. But let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think? Are you also, just to throw out the question at the end, are you getting tired of these old properties being mined? Would you like to see more stuff? Or, depending on the property, does it give you hope? like this, and the people behind it. Let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Take care.